Welcome to Nevada Newsmakers on the broadcast today, coming to you from the Las Vegas Metro Chamber. Marilyn Kirkpatrick chairs the Washoe County Commission for the whole show on an all new Nevada Newsmakers. The holidays are upon us, a time of celebration, family gathering, and gratitude. There are gifts to be wrapped, feasts prepared, love shared, and memories made. Life is precious, so let us cherish each other and all that we have. We're the Retail Association of Nevada. We thank you for letting us enrich your lives and thank you for your support throughout the year. Happy Holidays. R-A-N-N-V dot org. Hello, is this D&D Roofing? Yes, it is. How may I help you? You did such a great job on my roof. May I speak to the owner? I am an owner. Oh, can I speak to your supervisor? Sure. How may I help you? I love your work. May I speak to the owner? I am an owner. We're all owners. Well, that's why at D&D we work so hard to keep your home safe and sound. Oh, no wonder. D&D Roofing and Sheet Metal. Local, employee-owned, here for you. Take a look at Pro Group Management and see how your workers' comp requirements can be met head on. By taking a proactive approach, Pro Group can assure that your company is meeting or exceeding state and federal standards. As you move forward in your industry, Pro Group moves with you, simplifying regulatory tasks, clearing the way so you can get the job done and look to your future success. Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. Early in the morning or throughout the night, professional truck drivers are on the job, serving you, safely moving freight that's crucial to our economy. From the oldest industries to our newest innovators, from the exotic to the everyday, trucks are everywhere, moving everything, never afraid to embrace a future that makes Nevada and our nation stronger. Trucking moves America forward. Nevada Newsmakers tapings in Las Vegas are brought to you by the Las Vegas Metro Chamber of Commerce. This is Nevada Newsmakers with host Sam Shad, a no-holds-barred political forum. Now, from the Nevada Newsmakers broadcast headquarters, here is Sam Shad. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, coming to you from the Las Vegas Metro Chamber, we are delighted to welcome back to the program Marilyn Kirkpatrick. She is the chairwoman of the Clark County Commission. Pleasure to have you back on the program. Thanks, I appreciate coming in, Sam. So the first question I want to ask you is, you are the Speaker of the Nevada <laughs> Assembly. What's the difference in terms of power, um, money, et cetera, between working at the legislature and dealing with the state's budget and dealing with Clark County? So uh, really, they're about the same kind of budget um, when it comes to dollar-wise, but the county level, it's every day that we're working to resolve issues and to plan going forward. Um, I wish I would have known some of the county pieces when I was in the state legislature, because I probably would have done things a little different. For example? Um, ju just on like some of the codes. So some of the things that we have Vacant property is one, right? We, a lot of times, constituents are complaining about the vacant, vacant properties or now homeless camps or all these things. And the code, um, the state statute says you have to give someone five years of not paying their taxes before you can foreclose on it. Well, but in three years, you can go ahead and pay the tax and start all over. And we have a lot of people that are investors like that, that they do. And I probably would have... Um, as I did last session, shorten the time frame so that we could hold those property owners accountable for cleaning up their lands. Small things like that. Um, the budget on mental illness, you know, that has, plays a big part on our social service piece. Um, probably would have worked harder to make that work. Um, so so an, an, an increase in that budget? Absolutely. And when I was there, we put $53 million into mental illness. But you probably need $103 million to even make a small dent in what the problem is. Do you think that uh, Governor Sisolak is, is looking at that with the same eyes, coming from the same job that you have now? I absolutely think on this budget that he will be looking at um, county issues across the board because um, we've got to work together So as a partner. So what the state can't handle, the counties have to handle. So the more we work together, the, the better the constituents will be. I just came back from a trip to Berkeley and San Francisco mm -hmm. and Oakland. 
And those homeless encampments, we go there every year. These homeless encampments are getting larger and larger. Um, when you see these, what are your concerns for the Las Vegas Valley? So first of all, for myself, I go out to homeless camps myself. We're out there all the time. Um, we try to get them services, but what I'll tell you is I learned is it takes about 10 times to get them to trust you, to want to get services. Uh, many do want services, some don't want any services, and so we try to get the ones that want services right away. So at Clark County, we've been working pretty hard to get enough beds in place so that we can offer everybody that opportunity. And how close are you? So um, we know that we have about 5,300 homeless based on our last uh, count, which is down from the year before. So we have about 2,000 beds. Um, Clark County has another 1,800 on the books in the process of um, being put together. We spend about 10 million keeping uh, every year, keeping 1,400 people off the streets. So I'm confident in the next year and a half, we'll have enough beds for the shelters, uh, for people to get some type of shelter out there. What do you think about what's going on in the city of Las Vegas, as far as the homeless is concerned? Well, here's what I'll tell you. Um, it's our responsibility as a region to work together um, and to ensure that there are beds. Um, as I've had conversations with the mayor um, we get along really well. Um, let's focus on the beds um, so that we can get them off of the street and then we'll address that issue if they continue to not want services. Um, so what I'll tell you is there's no easy answer, especially when the Supreme Court, Ninth Circuit is involved, but we have to be able to provide um, the shelter um, before we criminalize them. Um, let's let's change our attention to uh, to growth here in the valley. The the uh, population is currently a little over two million. It's expected to hit three million uh, within the decade. Um, I, I was interviewing Brad Kroll from Natural Resources the other day, and I asked him about the water situation and you know when are we going to hit the tipping point? And he said we're already at the tipping point uh, in terms of having to make a decision. Um, but he also said that with the billions of dollars involved with the potential Southern Nevada Water Authority pipeline coming from Eastern Nevada um, down to Las Vegas, if you're talking billions of dollars, we should look at other alternatives. What's your thoughts on this? Because you're on the water boards yourself. Correct, so I, I'm currently the chair of the Southern Nevada Water Authority and um, what I'll tell you, his comments were disappointing to me. Um, for one, because he didn't reach out, I could have told him that we had a 50-year resource plan in place. Um, everybody knows that I don't want to build a pipeline to Northern Nevada. Um, I love the northern part of the state, my rural friends. Um, so I'm working hard on some alternatives um, so that we don't even have to go down that road, but we do have to plan for the future. So today we currently have a citizens advisory committee that's meeting to talk about what does our infrastructure look for the long term. So. Um, I would tell you I feel very confident on our 50-year plan on where we're at and I don't ever anticipating in my life seeing the pipeline go through and the goal of the board is um, as a whole is to take that all the way out of um, our resource plan. All right so that's the goal of the board. Um, realist okay and I'm just gonna throw this no, out there but re re realistically um, if this uh, water is needed in 30 years nobody who's currently serving is going to be making that decision, you know, uh, pulling the final lever on that. Um, but there's, there's conversation about desalination, uh, a couple of plants being built off the coast of California. There's been talk of uh, desalination plants off the coast of Mexico. Uh, but the point that I raise every time this discussion comes up is, how are you going to get, A, the people on the Colorado River to all agree um, that somebody's going to give up water so that Nevada can take more? Um, and it, it just didn't seem realistic that that's going to happen. So I'll tell you, um, shockingly, um, the DCP plan was adopted. That's where all seven states okay, go ahead. Uh, come together along the Colorado River and they determine what their drought contingency plan is going to be. So for the first time ever, seven states came together and they all agreed to give up a little bit less um, water, um, taking it out of um, Lake Mead uh, and what comes along the Colorado River. We have continued to work through that process um, with the all seven states being at the table 
to determine what does it look like for the West as a whole, because the West as a whole, we're unique. It's hotter than normal. Um, we haven't had as much rainfall. We haven't been able to store as much water. So we all recognize together that we have to come together um, to figure out what that allocation looks like. You'll remember that allocation is over 100 years old. Right. Um, but in Southern Nevada, we do a great job on recycling our resources. Um, so we actually resort, uh, recycle as much as we're allocated. So other states are now looking at what we're doing and we're actually the leader on how to um, ensure that all of us can survive along the Colorado River. So is the Imperial Valley Water District a part of that uh, agreement? Mm -hmm. um, so they are part, uh, well, let me not misspeak. They were the, they did not come to the table at the end, but I believe that they came to the table, but I don't know for sure, so um, don't quote me on that. But Okay, because that, that was part of the concern was that, you know, if you're in a situation where California is going to agree to, you know, give up water that because they're getting water from desalination, if Imperial Valley isn't on board, then... So I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure that they came to the table, but I'll have to check my facts and get back to you so you can catch up at the next show with it, but I'm pretty sure... Um, they were the last ones to come to the table, but I believe that they came to the table. So all seven states are working together. I attended a big ceremony out at um, Hoover Dam where um, all seven states were touting what a great effort this was. Over 2,000 days they had worked on it. And so I feel like we're in a good spot to continue to move forward. All right, let's take a break. More with okay. Commissioner Marilyn Kirkpatrick after this timeout. Tamarack Junction is South Reno's hotspot with over 450 of the latest slots and video games. Sully Sports Bar, the Dining Car Restaurant, William Hill Sportsbook, and the Tamarack Steakhouse and Lounge. We're just north of the Summit Wall in South Virginia. Yeah. Ahern Rentals began as Signal Gas Station on Las Vegas Boulevard. Founder John Ahern grew the business by offering rentals. His son Don built on John's legacy, growing Ahern Rentals into the largest independently owned American rental company with 89 locations in 30 states. Don also brought his experience and vision to equipment manufacturing with extreme manufacturing and snorkel. Today, Ahern Rentals continues to bring its family values to a new generation. Learn more at ahern.com. Hi, I'm Eric Robnett, owner of Home Energy Experts. Has this ever happened to you? Honey, did you remember to turn down the thermostat? <sighs> Forgetting to set the temperature? Not fun. We can help. Our new smart thermostat keeps the temperature set for your comfort all by itself. I'm feeling hot now. <sighs> to increase your comfort, go to homeenergyexperts.com for details. That's homeenergyexperts.com. The signs and symptoms of cataracts can start out small with subtle changes in your vision. So don't wait. Be proactive and take your vision into your own hands. If you're experiencing the onset of cataracts or just have questions, contact your eye care professional or call Eye Care Associates of Nevada today. Dr. Hiss has years of experience specializing in the surgical correction of eye disorders and has completed over 84,000 vision correcting procedures. At Eye Care Associates of Nevada, we'll change the way you look at the world. The Tamarack Junction Steakhouse is known for signature steaks, handcrafted cocktails, and world-class wines. Join us Thursdays and Friday nights from 4.30 to 6.30 in the Steakhouse Lounge for live music, gourmet plates, and well-priced wines just north of the Summit Mall on South Virginia. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with the chairwoman of the Clark County Commission, Marilyn Kirkpatrick. Um, as we look at the growth, that's going on in the gaming industry, the tourism industry in general, we're seeing thousands of rooms being added. Um, in the past, we've talked about, Ivan, not you and I, but we've uh -huh. talked about Ivanpah yeah. Airport uh, coming online to take over the freight, which would allow McCarran to serve even more customers as far as uh, tourists go. Um, are we any closer to an Ivanpah Airport at this part? Uh, we, point? Yes, we absolutely are. We're currently in the EIS studies, uh, which is our environmental studies. So we're in the process of doing those. So we allocated um, dollars last year so that we could start moving forward on um, that conversation. We do have a public lands bill that we're hopeful that we'll be able to get some of our rights away for a flood and um, water up in that area. Um, but we're not sure where that is, but as far as um, us getting closer, we're much closer. We're planning 
today for tomorrow's feature, which is sewer water transportation. And um, I hope to see it in, in my term. All right, so in your term. Mm -hmm. So how many more years you got to serve? What, I could serve ten more uh, years? about 10 more years. <laughs> okay, so, so that brings the timeline in to a much closer time. Because in mm -hmm. the past, we've talked here with Rosemary Vassiliadis about a 30-year time frame. Now mm -hmm. we're talking 10 years. Um, what si Well, first of all, what kind of acreage are we looking at at, at Ivanpah that the county currently owns? Is, is it about what? So I'm not sure, but the total acreage around the airport is about 18,000 acres. So that's that's vast. That That's mm -hmm. enough for essentially a small city. Right, and we really want to master plan it so that um, if we're going to bring all of our, um, you know, our freight there, that we have the proper industrial pieces uh, along the way so that there could be um, storage as necessary, a customs uh, component to it. So... We're, uh, we're looking at starting those conversations in the next um, couple of years uh, at the latest, but once we get the EIS study done, then that'll give us a little bit better direction of what we can work with. Okay, so when you were talking about the lands bill, do you need additional lands beyond what the county already owns? We, we do. Um, we need some additional um, components just so we can do one master plan for the entire southwest piece. Okay, but but Ivanpah could then realistically move ahead without a land spill if necessary. One of the other things that was talked about then, and you brought up transportation, would be light rail that goes from Ivanpah to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Is that still on the, the books? Yep, so tomorrow you'll see um, on our agenda, our December 3rd agenda, that we'll be submitting a letter of support for some light rail that will come through California um, close to the strip, not all the way to the strip, um, but close to the strip. Wow, and, and uh, who will build, would that be local government that will be building that? No, so it's a private, uh, private entity. They've applied at the state for some economic development um, bonding capacity. Is this Virgin? Mm -hmm. Virgin Trains. Uh -huh. So, so they're, they're looking at, in addition to building the train between Las Vegas and Victorville, building light rail between Ivanpah. Uh, well, we consider their train to be, um, to be a component of what will draw people there, which will free up our um, roadways for the transportation. So the goal is to bring in trucks and to have them have a one-stop shop right there at Ivanpah for the airport, for industrial piece of it. Um, but the train itself will bring the tourism post. But as far as light rail itself, the federal government is no longer giving a lot of dollars. Um, but we don't anticipate, uh, we anticipate people travel out towards Ivanpah today to work. They have a shuttle bus that runs. And so as far as light rail from Ivanpah Airport to the Strip, um, not sure that that makes sense at this time, but the train itself to take that congestion off the freeways absolutely will help everything else. And this would, um, you feel, would help sway the legislature because they weren't interested in doing that bonding piece uh, on the early appli earlier application. Well, I think um, that there were some uh, questions that they had, as there's questions that we had, um, but we feel confident now our financial teams have all met um, we asked that they put up a bond so that we could look at the ridership study um, and we will be um, moving forward to um, ensure uh, and to watch the state. It's the state's dollars, the state's bonding, but we are supportive because of the tourists. If you've seen the freeway yesterday back to California is 10 to 12 hours. Um, that hurts everybody if um, we don't get those tours to our state. Okay, um, for Ivanpah itself, what would you envision? Would, would there be residential out there as well? So um, Ivanpah is a big area, and there are some areas uh, more uh, northern of Ivanpah, which the city of Henderson is looking for some residents, which is all part of our public lands bill. So um, currently there is some um, housing out near state line, um, but we, we want to master plan an industrial component of it um, with residential um, near it. So there is some out there. We're already looking at it along the railroad. There's some small manufactured um, 
parks that are out there there's some housing but we want to have a master plan so there needs to be somewhere for people to live and work uh, at the same time the industrial piece um, makes the bigger sense for everybody all right let's take a break more with Marilyn Kirkpatrick when we come back Dimitri Prine here for Design Outdoor at Design Outdoor we specialize in all hardscapes pavers and walls you'll need for everything from wonderful small yards to full-blown outdoor living. And we only refer the best contractors to make your vision a reality. Our store and backyard are located at 11600 South Virginia, just north of DeMonte Ranch Parkway. Visit designoutdoor.com or call us at 851-9499. I'm men's rights attorney, Marilyn York. And because I represent men in all family law matters, women often call me gender traitor, woman hater, and even disgusting. So why represent men and target myself with these offensive monikers? It's simple. Children with fathers in their lives are six times less likely to drop out of school, 15 times less likely to go to prison, and five times less likely to commit suicide. So ladies, you can hate me, but please love your children more than you hate their fathers. Hi, I'm Dave Newman. Remember me? I used to be the house detective, and now I'm a realtor, full-time at REMAX Realty Affiliates. And a lot of people ask me, how's the market? You know what? It's fantastic. If you're even kicking around the idea of buying or selling, give me a call. Let's talk about it. Call me at REMAX Realty Affiliates and just ask for the guy who used to be the house detective, Dave Newman. The signs and symptoms of cataracts can start out small with subtle changes in your vision. So don't wait. Be proactive and take your vision into your own hands. If you're experiencing the onset of cataracts or just have questions, contact your eye care professional or call Eye Care Associates of Nevada today. Dr. Hiss has years of experience specializing in the surgical correction of eye disorders and has completed over 84,000 vision correcting procedures. At Eye Care Associates of Nevada, we'll change the way you look at the world. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with Marilyn Kirkpatrick. She's the chairwoman of the Clark County Commission. Um, we were just talking in the break here about uh, tourism numbers, um, and you think that the airport is going to hit a 50 million uh, total here in the near future. I, I do, and that's kind of been our goal, was to hit 50 million. Um, last year, I believe we are at 48. Um, so we continue to bring new conventions. We're growing with our types of entertainment, our sports. So uh, I'm assuming that for sure we'll be over the 50 million mark um, at the first of the year. How many more rooms do you think are going to be built beyond the Drew and uh, Resorts World? Um, do you envision more people coming in and building from the ground up? But we do. We've seen um, several, well, I shouldn't say several, we've seen a few. 400 uh, type uh, hotels that they're building. More boutique hotels, we're seeing more of that coming. We're seeing um, people building timeshares. Um, so we'll see more growth, um, but I think that it will slow down just a bit with the big resorts and um, you'll see some smaller boutique hotels. Um, what do you feel about Airbnbs um, and how they're affecting the Las Vegas market? Are you getting a lot of pressure from the, uh, the hotel industry about Airbnbs? So in Clark County, we had over 700 complaints to date. And um, at least for the county, we've absolutely said no um, time and time again. Because whose neighborhood are you putting it in? Um, and is that neighborhood already established and now it's allowed? Um, there's no real easy way to take in a neighborhood and to change it to an Airbnb. Um, are we looking at what other states are doing, other cities are doing? I I've used Airbnb myself um, at the beach. You know, that's a great thing. But at the beach, it's confined to one or two blocks. Everybody uses it as an Airbnb. Um, but I don't necessarily know that we have the ability to do that uh, within Clark County. Um, I'm currently, I've got to be honest, staying in an Airbnb, uh -huh. an MGM Signature Tower. Uh huh. So, I mean, you know. But, but those are more timeshares. Uh, those are more timeshares, and they pay the room tax to MGM. They should be. 
Okay. All right. Let's let's change topics here. We're we're running out of time here. Uh, okay. But um, <laughs> uh, the um, uh, lands bills. Um, at this point, uh, my understanding is that all these lands bills across the state are going to be put into an omnibus lands bill. Uh, but I'm getting the sense that uh, the, you know, even an omnibus lands bill is in danger in the state. Well, I'll tell you, public lands bills are hard no matter what. You're trying to appease a lot of different folks, a lot of different agencies so that you can do it. I think that our public lands bill does a lot of great things such as we have an RRMP lease, that land then goes, reverts back to the agency that um, has that lease on it. So let's use an example. Clark County School District has 140 schools. They would then own that land as opposed to a 25 year mark coming up and they would have to pay the BLM um, for that. Um, there are some things in there for right of ways that we're looking at. There's a small amount of growth um, for the next two decades that we've planned for. There's some stuff for the Indian reservations. So okay, but I mean, what do, what do you think its chances are at this point? Two years ago, I thought it could happen no problem right away. My hope is that we will we'll get a public lands bill in the next year. We'll keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> Marilyn Kirkpatrick, thank you so much for doing this. We really appreciate your time, and please come ag back again soon. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And we'll be right back. Nevada Newsmakers tapings in Las Vegas are brought to you by the Las Vegas Metro Chamber of Commerce. A bird's eye captures its surroundings at different heights. At Brian Culpa Photography, we can make your imagination soar over buildings, parks, cityscapes, and beyond. Brian's images tell the story and get the job done. If you need a new perspective to tell your story, contact Brian today. Brian Culpa Photography. Experience the bird's eye view at brianculpaphotography.com. Hi, my name's Marilyn Miner, and I'm sure you'd agree that Nevada's a very special place to live. I was born here, and my husband and I have raised our family here. I feel it's a privilege to live and work in the Truckee Meadows. I especially enjoy helping my clients reach their real estate goals. Sometimes the smallest details provide the greatest satisfaction. I'd be complimented to talk to you about your next move. Call Marilyn Miner at Dixon Realty, 742-1280, or log on to MarilynMiner.com. St. Ives Florist, for every holiday and every special occasion. For romance, custom home design. We have the largest selection of fresh flowers in Northern Nevada. And we also offer a large selection of unique gift items. Come see me, Lori Ann, at St. Ives Florist, 700 South Wells Avenue, or call me at 333-9190. Pro Group Management is the place where companies can find workers' comp solutions that are designed to meet their specific business requirements. As regulations evolve, Pro Group takes a proactive approach to clear the path to make sure your business stays ahead of the curve. Knowing your workers' comp program is optimized, you can focus on other important matters related to your growing business. Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. As always, you can watch Nevada Newsmakers 24 hours a day at NevadaNewsmakers.com or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you on the next broadcast.